<laughs> um, let's talk about U.S. men's national team, some soccer action, playing mm. Germany this weekend. You're going, you're going. Who else is going? No, no I'm, I'm, I have an end so of the game going? this weekend. I, I was going to, but I think it's going to rain, and I've, I've got a bit of a cold, and I'm, I'm weak. I'm just, um, yeah. Yeah. No, gonna, you're avoiding. I'm okay. avoiding, yeah. Stay well. I know, thank you. Um, <laughs> okay, so you showed us your projected 11 for the U.S. men's national team for this one. We looked at this earlier on in the week, but let's take another look at it. You can run us through it once more. Yes, Matt Turner and goal. Uh, this back line is shifted a little bit because now Serginho Dest is going to come on the left because Anthony Robinson is getting a rest alongside Tim Ream, Richards, and Scally, who was phenomenal in Nations League coming in for, for Serginho Dest on the right side. So Weston McKinney and Musa, I'd like to see them stay together. And then in front of them, that's the, I guess, where Greg Berhoff. is the best front three that we have. Brendan Aronson at the 10, you're convinced that can work or is he much more effective on the wing? Like, are, you, are we losing a lot of qualities in Brendan Aronson if he's not playing out wide? I think Brendan Aronson at this level, international level, has a lot to work on in terms of being central because as that 10, you're in tight spaces. Brendan Aronson doesn't really operate in great, tight, great and tight spaces. He's more of a press, counter press. He needs a little bit more space. He likes to run. So as a winger, you have less responsibility to check into those tight spaces, find those gaps. And when in club, when he was in MLS with Philadelphia Union, that's where we saw him excel in that 10 role because he didn't have to come back so deep because of the way Philadelphia Union played. With this national team, that 10 has to be more of a, an orchestrator, being a, to get on the ball, set the tone, set the pace. And I don't think he has quite developed that skill yet. Hmm. I mean, if you want to do well at the 2026 World Cup, you're going to have to get past opponents like this, like a Germany, right? How valuable does a game like this become, considering it's probably going to be more difficult? Is this fair to assume it's going to be more difficult for the U.S. to get kind of difficult European opposition leading up to the 2026 World Cup? It's not going to be easy to make those fixtures happen, I think it's, right? I think it's essential to have matches like this, especially because they don't have to qualify for the next mm. World Cup. And you need some kind of benchmark. You know, you need to see where you're at against some of the, the top-tier teams in, in the world. And a team like Germany, uh, even a team, a team like Ghana, I mean, these are going to be really, really important. I know it's, um, you know, we're a ways out from the World Cup, but I'm hopeful that they continue to find these these moments to to compete against the top top mm -hmm. tiers because it's the only way we need to know we need that yeah. measuring this stick. This and Copa America. I, I, th I think the benefit is European teams also heading up to the World Cup after the Euros will want to play friendlies in America and, yeah. because mm -hmm. they know the World Cup's coming here. So it may be easier than this previous okay. cycle. So. This is still a good test, regardless. I don't look at this as a friendly friendly because Nagelsmann coming in, he's trying to prove a point. Right. And Burhalter knows all eyes are on this team. Last um, round where you can see he is an aggressive outside back. He'll, he can occupy different channels. He'll get to the end line. His service, for the most part, was pretty good. So then you could keep Dest on the right or even play Sc If you like Scally right, so much right now, you know what you're going to get from Dest. You get a good test versus a Germany opponent with Lund and Scally. The, the only argument to that is mm -hmm. you know your depth and... Greg is is trying to win this uh, this match, so you want to go with your strongest team. And, yeah. and Scally did so well that you don't need to test uh, Loon from from the start in this game because you want you know what Dust can bring. So in in that case, okay. there's a little stability there. You're yeah. I, I feel like he's got to treat this because it's such elite opposition. Treat it as if it was a World Cup qualifier. The tests he can do and he did against Uzbekistan and Oman and. I think the bar against Uzbekistan and Oman is the discrepancy between that and what is expected against Germany totally. is, v is, is a big, big gap. So you still think it's Robinson, then Dest, and then Lund yes. as, as that order there on the left back situation? Because even if you compare, Scali is, is the next best right back okay. after Dest. So he's better side. than Lund would be as a left back. That and, and, and not only that, Serginho Dest is playing left back right now at yeah. PSV. Okay, mm -hmm. cool.
Is it, question, is a draw at home against Germany, is that a good result? It depends how the game goes. So if you tell me it's a 0 0 draw, the, the US defended, they were poor in the attack, then it's not a good result. If they were creating, if it was the possession was kind of basically even, the US had some good moments, they defended well, then you'd say, hey, job well done. This is a, a quality yeah. German side. Yeah, but if you're creating chances, is not the issue. It's like you're not finishing the chances. And that's and that the, goes the same the, old story. The issue, yeah, that's been the same yeah. old story. So would it be a good result? Yeah, but I don't think it would be, I, it, it's not great. You're not going to be happy if, if this comes out as a draw. Especially if that's the way the game is going. If, if the U.S. are dominant for, for large portions of the game, which I don't expect, but if they are and it's a draw, I'm happy. Yeah? Yeah. All right. The girls aren't. Yeah. <laughs> you got high yeah. standards I'm over here. I'm happy, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's similar to, to the England This match. is an opportunity, though, because Germany has struggled. Yeah. And this is Nagelman's first game, and he's going to be under a significant amount of pressure. I think even though it is a friendly, I, I, I think that there's so many eyeballs on mm -hmm. him and how this Germany team is going to look and evolve under him. And correct me if I'm wrong, he is only signed to a... One year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one year. Of the Euros. He doesn't have a lot of time to, to implement his, his tactics and his vision on this team. So this, this is massive for the, him. And I think that this is an opportunity for the United States. If they Happy with it though. There's thoughts too that this this team is going to play a 4-2-2-2, <laughs> two, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Germany is going to have a lot of numbers centrally, so we'll get to see how good this midfield is against a lot more numbers and how they adapt. So, yeah. questions? It was a good question. I like that one. Yeah, yeah it was. Um, uh, uh, so. Going back to your birthday, sorry, because I just yeah. want to clarify. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm invited. You Anybody's are, invited. Of, of didn't get the official invite, yeah, but it's still the invite. It's like we all know about that. It's not hold grudges. It's like an it's open like house type ha policy. Happiness. You Anybody, come, come on down. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. Come on in. Oh, just okay. not reveal the address <laughs> live on TV. <laughs> you might just do that. We got the invite. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but it, you're, you're seeing in the right under the third fine coming? print may or may not attend. It says bad bunny messy until so may or may not attend. <laughs> okay. Also that picture of Messi is amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, it's what about time. Nico's mullet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know hey, Are you it's, playing cricket there? It's about the fact, no, I'm playing, it's my, my goalkeeper glove, the ball in hand. It doesn't look like <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, just come on down. I'm, I'm happy to share, it's about having a good time, good vibes. <laughs> did you make this yourself? I 30, did. wow, on my phone. 30, welcome. Wait, is this the real one? It is. Yeah. But they just blanked out the, the yeah. address. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize that, okay, cool. Yeah. Charlie Davies, you're up next. After the break, Charlie, Charlie Davies is going to bring us <laughs> the headlines of the day. We'll be back in just a second.